Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. The sun is rising and it's 40 degrees here in Plant City, Florida. But we started our day early because today we're going to head down the street to our friend's house and pick up a bunch of pine logs to bring them back here to the sawmill. Yeah, our friend Michael, who lives right down the street from us, he had five acres of pine trees and he had the pine trees for greenbelt purposes, which is the greenbelt tax exemption that we have here in Florida. Um, he no longer needs that tax exemption, so he's chopping down all the pine trees. He's going to turn it into a beautiful pasture, and he's giving us all the pine trees so that we can use them here at the wood shop. If you haven't seen on our Instagram, and we're slowly going to be pushing out some videos, we're building a Triple L Rustic Designs retail store here on the side of the wood shop, and we've been building that using everything pine. We've been taking pine trees, cutting them into lumber, and we're using that lumber to build our store. So it's pretty cool. It's a rewarding process knowing that we're making the lumber ourselves on the sawmill and building out the shop and building out the store. So that's what these pine logs will be used for. We're going to get the Kubota loaded up. We got the new Titan Attachments log grapple. We'll get the trailer loaded up on the flatbed and we'll head down the street and we'll show you the process of picking up all these pine logs and bringing them back down here to the sawmill. The first thing we need to do is go get our farm truck, which is the flatbed, and hook the trailer up to it.
With the temperatures dropping, we're gonna check all the tire pressure and make sure we're good to go before we head over there. All these boards on the trailer here, Trey and his dad, Larry, actually cut themselves. That's the cool thing about having the Woodmiser sawmill here at the shop, is that we can do stuff like this with no problem. We put air in the tires and we built these little sidebars to stop the logs from falling off the trailer. Larry's gonna drive the tractor down the road and Trey's gonna drive the truck and I'm gonna ride along. Okay, everything's good to go. That's how you jump in. This truck rumbles like a T-Rex. All right, let's do this. You can't maneuver all this. In case you don't know, I am a professional trucker. So when I was 18 years old, I was working at Taco Bell as the maintenance guy. I uh, started as one of the just regular employee servers and uh, I got promoted to the maintenance guy where I would fix things in the Taco Bell when they broke. Well, didn't really like that job, didn't plan to do that job for very long, but I needed to find something to do until I was old enough to join the police academy. So my father and my grandfather have a pretty successful sales company and they sell erosion control products so like the products that you see on job sites um, whenever they redo roads they sell products that are they have to be in all those job sites it's by code and by like requirements for the state so when I was 18 my dad's like why don't we start you a transportation company and you can deliver all the materials that my company sells every day so we did that at 18 we bought a truck, bought a trailer, and I began driving, delivering construction materials all over the state of Florida all day, every day. So my days pretty much consisted of waking up at 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, heading out, going down to like Miami or wherever the deliveries were. A lot of the deliveries were in Miami because there was so much construction going on down there. So get up at 2.30, head out, drive all over the state making deliveries and I'd be back to the house by 1, 2, 2 p.m. and I would go fishing every evening. So did that for four years until I turned 21 and I applied for the police academy and been there ever since. So that's what, uh, that's what this farm truck is and this trailer. This is the remnants of Triple L Transportation and Services. Still own the company, still uh, think about starting it up or getting it going again but we've got so much going on with our jobs at the local law enforcement agency and everything we're doing here with triple l rustic designs but someday triple l transportation and services may come back and we may hire zoe here to make deliveries all over the state of florida probably not i don't think she wants to drive this big tractor and trailer all day in that four years that i was doing that transportation job i probably put close to 400,000 miles under my belt. I do have a class A CDL driver's license still. I keep it active just in case I ever want to do the transportation company again, but I've gotten quite skilled at driving a big truck and trailer. I've also been towing boats since I was 15, 16 years old. I got my first boat when I was about 15. So I've got lots of experience back in a trailer and pulling a pulling a trailer from doing that so we're about halfway to mike's house we're taking it pretty slow because dad's in front of us on the tractor but we'll be there in a few minutes and we'll show you what we're going to be doing so that tractor actually goes much faster than that i don't know why he's taking it at like 
turtle pace, they can at least kick it into like gopher turtle pace. Them gopher turtles, they go fast now. They can get up about 10 miles an hour, especially if you feed them some spinach. Whew. They turn into Popeye turtles. In 2022, we want to make sure that we're getting you guys as much content as possible. And one of our ideas in doing that is to create a Patreon account. If you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a website where you would subscribe to a tier or a package that we offer. Some of the tiers that we're thinking of is for 10 or $15 a month. You can get early and exclusive access to our videos, our uncut or extended version of the videos, 360 videos, bloopers, um, and early access to our merchandise and all the products that we sell at the shop. If this is something that you guys would be interested in doing, make sure you drop a comment below and let us know what your thoughts on that. We read all the comments. Sometimes we have trouble responding to all of them because there's a lot, but we do read all your comments. So make sure you drop a comment below and let us know your thoughts. All right, Trey's pulling the trailer into our friend's driveway. It's a pretty tight squeeze, but I think he can get this. I, I want to set. I want to be set up for a straight shot out of here, and not try to have to turn around with all the weight on the trailer. It's, it's all about real footage, you know, so that he can uh, <laughs> sniff it, take a good morning, man. How are you? See you, man. Nice. This place is looking good. It's getting there. Got a little bit more work to do, but soon enough. Very soon cool. Enough. We're gonna start with this pile of pine logs. They're about 20 feet, and they've been cut down for about a year. So these are gonna be the driest. We're going to start loading these up and see what else we can fit on the trailer. So dad's not very skilled with the tractor, so I'm gonna have to get up here by hand and uh, move these things and try to make it more of a stable base. He's just kind of dumping them up here. The key to a good pyramid is having a nice stable base.
I assume. Yeah, but she, it, they haven't gone down ours yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't teach him anything. <laughs> Yeah, they seem to all know more than us nowadays, huh? Since he turned six years old, it's all downhill. <laughs> Least yours gave me till six. Mine was two and a half. I kid you not. We have all these pines loaded up on the trailer. We're gonna head back down to the farm, unload these, and then come back and pick up the rest. Those tires on this trailer have been on there since like 2014, so they're about seven, eight years old. Hopefully they don't give out on us. Holy smokes, that's heavy. There we go. We're cruising. So our buddy Mike and his son are some of the nicest people we've ever met. It's funny, I, uh, I was driving down this road one day and I saw a bunch of pine trees laying down in his yard. So I left a note on his fence that said, uh, I'm interested in taking these pine trees from you. If you're interested in getting rid of, rid of them, uh, please give me a call. And I put my name and number. Well didn't get reached out to for a while and I thought oh maybe he's not interested and uh, finally when he reached out it was a funny story come to find out it rained that night and it washed away like half of my name and my phone number well Mike took it upon himself to start googling what he could from the parts of my name and the phone number and he ended up finding my old YouTube channel and my website. So he ends up calling me and letting me know the story of how like the note was destroyed and it's how we met and we became good friends. So he only lives about three miles down the street from the farm. So he comes over, stops by every now and then, sees the stuff we're working on. And it's been, a, it's been great having him as a friend and giving us all these pine logs so we can use them for projects at the shop. Made it back to the farm. Looks like the tires held up good. So we're gonna get these unstrapped, taking off the trailer, and then we'll head back down and get another load. Trey unloaded all the logs off the trailer. As you can see over here, we piled them on the south side of our property right next to our sawmill. We're starting this pile right here. This is the old pile from when we went to Mike's last time and picked up some logs. But now we're gonna head back to his property and get another load.
This grapple has been super helpful in loading and unloading the logs from the trailer. Before we were using um, the forks and it just wasn't, wasn't very easy. So this thing has been a game changer for us, even with putting the logs on the sawmill. So I'm super happy with our new Titan attachment. All right, we're gonna head down to Michael's one more time for today, get another load. This load will be half cedar trees, eastern red cedar trees, and then half pine logs. He's got a decent pile of eastern red cedar logs that have been chopped down for over a year now. Some of them are skinny. They'll be made for like chopping little cookies or something, but then he's got a couple that are really nice and thick, probably like eight to 12 inches. So those will make really nice charcuterie board slabs. So we're back down here at Mike's place, starting to load up the trailer again. Like I said, we're gonna be putting more of these pine logs and then we've got this really nice pile of cedar logs here. So some of these skinnier cedar logs like this, we'll end up putting them on the, uh, the miter saw and just chopping them into little cookies. But these thicker ones like this, we'll get those up on the sawmill and these will be perfect size for creating charcuterie boards. So we'll chop this down to maybe like eight feet or so and slice it into some probably six quarter slabs. Those are perfect charcuterie boards. We got a couple more in here that'll work perfect. All these little logs that are anywhere from like seven to 12 inches wide, those are gonna be perfect. We should be able to fit the rest of those pine logs and all these cedar logs up on the trailer. And that'll probably be our last trip for today. Um, we'll, we'll get back down here as soon as we can and get the rest of these. Before you guys give any notes about what not to do, you notice I'm not wearing glasses, so don't tear his video up, please. <laughs> have loved to load up all these eastern red cedar logs but we kind of ran out of room with all these pine logs um, as you can see I definitely stack logs better than dad so we got it all situated up there played Tetris with all those pine logs and now we're gonna take it back to the farm unload it and that'll wrap it up for this video we'll come back down on another day and get these eastern red cedar logs and definitely gonna make some cool projects out of them but this is all gonna be used to turn into lumber we're gonna be make some two by eights, hopefully some two by tens, and we'll probably make this lumber to build out the rest of the retail store and maybe even the shop. Michael, thank you very much, sir. We, uh, we appreciate it and uh, we, we can't be more appreciative for our friendship with Mike here. So this, uh, I'm excited to see how this property is gonna turn out. I actually have some footage from last, probably January, from when we first came down here and got the first load of logs. That's how busy we've been with our primary careers is we haven't been able to get down here for almost a whole year to get the rest of these logs. But he's been patient with us and we couldn't be more happy to be friends with him. So we're gonna load these up, head back to the farm and get them unloaded. Cross this bridge one more time. So we made it back to the farm. No blown tires, no logs fell off, everything went good. So I'm gonna take these straps off. Dad will be pulling in here on the tractor in a second. And then we'll get these things unloaded. 
and that'll wrap up this whole video and project. We got a couple other things we got to do today, so once we get these off the trailer and stacked up, we'll uh, head over into the wood shop and keep working on a couple projects that we got going on. Real quick, while we're waiting on Dad to pull in here, we've got some big things going on here at Triple L Rustic Designs. You're gonna see some pretty big improvements and changes coming up here soon. Um, if you didn't see on our social media accounts, we recently got a ton of grizzly equipment here for the shop. Everything from a joiner to a planer to a sander, a drum sander. We, we got over 10 machines, really nice machines here for the shop. So we're slowly growing and we really appreciate all you guys subscribing to the channel and following us on our social media accounts. If you don't already, make sure you follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, it's all Triple L Rustic Designs. As soon as you search Triple L Rustic Designs on Google, our YouTube's probably gonna pop up and in the description of every single one of our YouTube videos is our Instagram accounts, is our website. You can get to all of our social media accounts as long as you go to our website. Sounds like the tractor's coming down the road now. Um, as you guys always see, we're always rocking these Triple L Rustic Designs t-shirts. We have quite a few t-shirts still left here in stock. So if you're interested in purchasing one, I would encourage you to reach out to our website, go to our Etsy store or our website where you can find the t-shirts and what we have in stock, the sizes and the different colors. So it looks like dad's coming in with a log that he found on the side of the road. This log didn't come from Mike's property. Looks like a uh, little stumpy oak log that I could definitely see it being turned into some coffee tables. Um, it's got a nice crotch figure in, in it. So that could be some really nice little four foot coffee table slabs. Where'd you find that? Long road, road kill. <laughs> road kill log. All right, well, I'm gonna jump on the tractor here in a second. I'm gonna unload all these pine logs. I just gotta switch the GoPro so that we can get a nice little time lapse of it. Let's do this. Alright guys, that's going to do it for our video today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also, make sure to put a comment below what you guys think about our Patreon idea. Also, if you have any ideas on what we should offer in our packages or price points. Again, this content is for you guys, so we want to make sure that we're including you on our ideas here. As always, please subscribe for future videos. We'll see you guys next time. All right, so. My idea for the thumbnail is that you're gonna stand on the grapple. All right. And then be do you want to sit on it? No, be inside the grapple like you're pushing up on it. Yeah. Yeah, that looks cool. Does it look like I'm trying to poop? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so let's take some photos like that. <laughs>